guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 12 of the Aqua Top and White Sands. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. BTW, if you hear anything in the background, they're currently out here working and blowing leaves. So I am sorry. You know what I was thinking? Um, because I saw the new visual. What if we go into a flash forward where Kokoro, um, Fuka, and everyone, well, but Fuka's not even in the new visual. Everyone else except Fuka is older. And we see Kokoro and friends working at the new aquarium that she went to a couple episodes ago. That would make sense. Because, of course, we know that Fuka is going back to Tokyo to do her idol stuff. So, that has to be the reason why we're not going to see her in the second half of the show. You guys still sad? Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, it seems like it. Honey. Oh, that's sweet. What? <laughs> Picture? I froze. Oh my god. <laughs> I should be okay. Oh! I'll be okay. You did good till the end. Hmm? Oh. 
Oh, but come on, you just gotta say yes. So sad, though. Exactly. You do deserve it. All of you deserve it. No, Kokoro, you, once again, you did your best. I know, right? Exactly. Just say yes. <laughs> he just looks like he's about to burst into tears. That's what happens when you get a little too drunk. <laughs> Oh, well, damn, I thought we were going to hear, like, the whole thing. Sure. Hmm. 
But we need to. We're talking about both of you at the same time. You can. I mean, and besides, we know you're going to say yes. It's in the visual, for Christ's sake. Oh, honey. This is just straight up giving me like feels towards like um oh feels to um freaking pretty derby and how like freaking Shizuka was like straight up not in the second half of the series but we all knew the reason why and such but still it's sad because the fact is Fuka's not gonna be in the second half hopefully she makes an appearance in the second half because she's still a main character but. Forty-eight years. Mm hmm They just asked you? Of course. Do you want to go there as well? Yes, wrap up them boots and heels, hun. It is. No, oh, there's only one penguin keychain left. take them down as well. I thought they would have just left it up, but who knows what they'll use the building for after, you know. Yeah, you saw yourself. <laughs> I mean, 
because like in the visual did she finally have her hair done i don't remember i'd have to look at it after huh Mm -hmm. I've seen it several times. How you might even see her again when we get to the next episode, probably next week, unless they take a break. But damn, I thought y'all would hug or something. Oh. 
There we go. No. And of course he's just gonna stay there now. Oh my god. Like Okay, for a mid season finale, this was it, it was still sad, but it was just as good. Now that officially, you know Kukuru and friends are going to a different aquarium. Where they're still going to see, you know, certain animals from Gama Gama. I mean, this is a new opportunity for her to possibly get a career out of this and everything. And so I'm glad that she gave. She at first said no, but then was like, fuck it. I'm going to do this for myself. And I want someone. I'm not only going to cheer for myself, but she's going to have Fuka with her in the background cheering on her. Cheering her on. Even though, I, like I said, I don't think Fuka's going to be in the main cast now. She might make an appearance, maybe somewhat, like, this is 24 episodes, so she's got to at least make an appearance at least before this show is over. So I still think we're going to get a time jump, possibly, of course. So right after they've done high school, right when she's going into college and she's working at the new aquarium and such, maybe, I'm not 100% sure. But the fact is that um, Udon and what's her face, the, oh my god, the girl with the like purplish short bob hair are also going to go. I mean, that's really nice. But like I said, that visual that I saw, like, I think about, it's now 3 o'clock and I, I, I kept sleeping on and off. So I saw that visual, I think around 12, going on 1 o'clock. Um, and I liked it and such and I saw that they were in new outfits and everything. So this is going to be a really good opportunity for Kukuru. And the fact that she's like taking it, grabbing it by the hand and it's, I'm happy for her. The fact that that person was her sister, like something kind of told me, yeah, maybe. But I kept thinking like, no, that's an older version of you. That's you seeing your older self. Like when you become this big, successful, whatever the heck you're going to be. But no, the fact that it was her older sister and this is the only time that she's able to get to meet her, even though she is no longer here because of the fact that she passed away when she was a baby and everything. I mean, she has so many people watching over her. Like, oh my God, you know, you know how like when so many things happen to someone and you have God and angels watching, watching over you and it's like that. And you have like some sort of purpose and it's and why you're living and why you're here. And sometimes it takes you the longest time to find it because let me tell you, it, it it's like that for me and such. Even with all the things that have happened to me from when I was a kid up until now. 
and still trying to find out what is my purpose in life because I know we're all struggling that every single day. Um, whether you are a freaking <laughs> an adult like me or you are a teenager and stuff like that, you were just trying to figure out, okay, what the fuck do I want to do for the rest of my life and stuff? And you can do many things. But I'm really, truly honest wondering how in the world this new opening is going to look. Maybe the ending might stay the same. Um, when will be the next time Fuko will make an appearance? So I'm guessing at least, like I said, before the show is over. So maybe like 17 to 24. Um... Who are all these new people we're going to meet and such? And what are the situations that, uh, I'm about to say Fuka, <laughs> Kukuru and friends are going to go up against in this new aquarium and such with new people and everything? Because sometimes just because you come from a different place and you're meeting new people, you can't always interact with new people because you never really know, like, certain people or certain auras and this is that and the third can't always interact with each other. So I really hope and pray that everyone is really, truly nice to our main characters who are coming into this new place and that we don't have conflict. But of course, because it's, you know, your job and everything, you're going to have conflict with people no matter what at the end of the day. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode 12 of the Aqua Top and White Sand. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and I will see you guys either next Thursday, because still, I don't know if episode 13 is coming out next Thursday. If it does come out next Thursday, you will see me next Thursday. If not, you will probably see me the following Thursday for it. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!